Even Stevens at Sedbra, as Villas and Jones helped Lancashire recover from early wickets. Lancashire chose Sedbra School as their home venue for the very first time for their match against Durham, as they look to reclaim top spot in the division following a week off since their comprehensive win away at Derby two weeks ago. Durham arrived in Cumbria fresh off the back of their second win of the season, following some fantastic batting from skipper Cameron Bancroft at Hove. After an uncontested toss, Lancashire's opening batsman Jennings and Davies strode out to the middle. They were both into the runs quickly, hitting boundaries in each of the first three overs. However, with eight gone and with 24 runs on the board, Durham made the breakthrough Chris Rushworth in a rich vein of form bowling Jennings for 12. Davis hit back-to-back balls off Cass in the next over, taking Lancashire to 33 for one off their opening 10. His new partner, Hamid, started quietly, and the pair patiently started to build a foundation, taking the score first past 50 and then through to lunch, with a few overs lost to a brisk shower early in the day. 71 for one at the interval, but straight after the break, a second wicket fell as Davies nicked off to Cass, falling for 38. And as the Durham bowlers turned the screw with very tight lines, Hamid fell to rain. Bancroft with the catch and the Lancashire number three out for 24. The score at this stage, 81 for three. Jones and Livingston were the new men in and they saw off a sustained period of pressure from the visitors' attack before starting to pick off some boundaries. Four from Jones took the total past 100. And a few overs later, Bad Light saw play halted for an early tee with the score 136 for three. Livingston would fall after the restart trapped LBW for 35 by Rimmington. But Jones and Villas would come together for a fine partnership. They'd guide Lancashire past 200, Jones picking up his half century in the 80th over. Villas, comparatively new to the crease, wouldn't be far behind. His own 50 reached in just 68 balls. Jones' innings would finally come to an end over three hours after he got going, out LBW to Rushworth for 52. Croft joined in the fun, adding another batting bonus point as his side moved past 250. They'd reached the close of play on 275 for five, a significant improvement after the loss of early wickets under Durham pressure. Once again, Rushworth had done the hard yards for Durham, but even he had only managed to pick up two wickets. With five wickets in hand, Lancashire will look to increase their total past 300 on day two. Durham will smell an opportunity for quick wickets to make it a very fascinating day on this debut at Sedbra.